Hello. How are Hi. you? <laughs> Fine. How are you? I'm good. So this is Confession Box with PLA. Um, and uh, of course, T-I-T-I, -I, <laughs> Adewe, herself. Uh, what does it feel like to actually be on here? This is all your idea, by the way, just for the record, for whoever is listening, watching, or everything. All your idea. Um, I just finally just jumped on it and pushed it. Forgive me. Like About faces time. Everywhere. About <laughs> time, right? <laughs> Don't worry. The next time we do the next episode, your face would be on one of the pillows as well. That one, I promise you. Now, before we start anything, as we've been taught, mm. we have to pray. I mean, okay. for crying out loud, when Daddy Gio goes anywhere, he prays as he enters the car. He prays when we mm. get there. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, I mean, that's mm -hmm. been done so much now that I feel guilty if I don't pray. So, you pray or I pray? Yeah, pray. I'll let you pray. Uh, you pray or I pray? Pray. <laughs> okay. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for this opportunity to speak our mind and to confess our souls. Mm. Thank you for the devices and everyone that is listening. Lord, we ask that uh, <laughs> Nepa won't shame us. We won't have any issues or yeah. any complications. And everything we share today would actually be for the push of your kingdom. And it will touch us and touch the hearts and ears that are listening. Amen. In Jesus' precious mighty name. Amen. All right. So, um, being the first, we have to go off by what we are and what we have been pushed into. Mm -hmm. I know we're married now. It's going to be 12, 12 years, me. December 28th, uh, 9.30 a.m. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So, so um, what, 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 what does it feel like? What does it feel like for you being a seed, being a, mm. a, a pastor's child and all of that stuff? I mean, I know what it feels like for me, but what does okay. it feel like for you? I think that really, um, as you grow older, it feels yeah. different. Yeah, yeah. You know, there, there's there's that phase where, um, uh, you know, when you get picked on, especially at church, and yeah, you know, there's I always didn't used that. to like that one. I didn't <coughs> like that being picked pastors, up. One. Uh, I slapped one girl like that. <laughs> I slapped one babe like that. They went to report me to Mommy Gio. <laughs> that Sunday was one of my worst Sundays ever <laughs> uh, in church. Why oh, yeah. would you slap somebody? Well, they would say we should do the draw the sword or whatever like that. And I was the one doing drawing the sword. And I didn't want to draw any sword. Why? Because they always uh, pick on you. So. Yeah. So then um, maybe we lost. So the girl was all like, nee, 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 nee. <laughs> you know, the overall pastor's son and you lost. You deserved the picking then. Uh, but is it my fault? Yes. Am I supposed to, uh, did, did you come out knowing every part of the Bible from the womb? <laughs> of course not. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's another thing. Exactly. The pressure. The pressure. Especially when you're younger. The pressure to to be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you're just like every other kid, every other <laughs> child. <clears throat> Excuse me, every mm. other teenager. Yeah. So I think you that you part. Give some water? I could give you some water, water sure. No, let me Thank serve you. you. you know? yeah, I'll even let you pour it. You let me pour it. Okay. So right, the pressure yeah. of, you know, wanting to be perfect, I hated that. <laughs> because um especially growing right. um i mean young now we have youth churches yeah. now we have teenagers churches yeah. that actually yeah. cater yeah. for okay. the age group yeah. that they are called yeah then um at most of the time uh i attended sometimes the teenagers church sometimes the adult church and then you they know, just made all of us that time it used to be yeah. a rowdy massive hall yes the little babies in front yes. and then the big boys exactly. at the back yeah so yes that you do enjoy that pressure that you have to go to church when something really clean but not new so that they won't say that your father was stealing church money uh, i don't know about that <laughs> i mean we had that issue as in, you know your own level is different you were, you are the son of you so <laughs> good luck <laughs> i don't know about that actually but i didn't like that I, we used to keep clothes for like three four months let it look old uh, and all that. Yeah. no i no i have to ask mommy about that no but like, like okay for occasions so you know convention is in august maybe they bought you something from january you have to hold it to the convention the final day of convention <laughs> sunday for that particular occasion yeah i don't think they meant it that way i think they want you to keep it clean and neat till that sunday that time Yes, I don't really think they want you to look old well, I before you wear it. I was young. <laughs> but my godfather on the other side is absolutely amazing, man. He will wear it from the store, he buys it. Yes, sir. Yeah. 
But anyway, um, what does it now feel like being a pastor yourself and then being a pastor's wife? Ah, I that's may... be a lot of questions I'm going to ask you. Yeah, yes. sure, I'm ready. <laughs> so, yes, being a pastor's child is amazing, to be honest. Yeah. Um, Free I think <laughs> more importantly, getting to know God for yourself, I think yeah. is even more important. And as you grow older and dig deep into that, you know, you have that identity of your own in Christ Jesus is even more I think fantastic. one of the things that actually that I enjoyed from being picked on even from that children's class um, for all the quizzes and all of that because when they ask for volunteers and nobody answers they They'll automatically just yeah, exactly just nominate you even <laughs> all the way to NYSC when they'll do that Muslim prayer Christian prayer they'll just go anyway when nobody else is volunteering to do the um was that I had to go and learn all those things intentionally mm. I had to go and know what's the shortest book in the yes. Bible I had to go and know who lived the longest mm. um find all those things so that when they say draw the sword I already know in my mind, you know. You have something to draw. Exactly. <laughs> Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Abosa, Abosu, Roman, Cori, Cori. <laughs> so, I <laughs> actually climb on this thing. Oh, yeah. Genesis, Exodus, Levit is called number, yes, Data, so. no me, Joshua, jo oh, yeah, that's where George is. I just I quickly open it mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. Um, But it actually helped me because I had to ask Daddy Joe some questions about who is uh, Obadedon and all these kind of funny things so that I will be ready for the next time they are doing those quizzes um, and cram it, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so mm -hmm. I had like in my brain a store part that was just for church on Sunday. Yes. So, so that I can quickly access you are ready. it. ready. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> so on Sunday, I just opened that uh, apartment again. Like, hey, everybody come out. <laughs> we are back home. But anyway, um, so yeah, what does it now feel being a pastor yourself? Mm. Ordination day, did you cry? Um, yes, I mean, you know, it's a... Hmm. It's not a, so for me, ordination, it's not a physical activity. It's mm -hmm. more of a spiritual exercise. Yeah, and so uh, it's like God is entrusting you with more. Yeah. And you know, that feeling of, you know, you being so in that, that space and, yeah. you know, it's a lot. It's a yeah, lot. You don't disappoint God, God first. Though, yeah. yes, so. so, yes, I did. I did actually. Yeah. I did. It was a bit emotional for me. I used to run away from the whole idea. I didn't want to be, I just wanted to do the work. I didn't want the ordination, yeah, to be honest. Yes. Yeah, I mean, Same deacon here. was difficult enough because, you know, the Bible gives you a criteria of what a deacon should be and behave like. And in some cases, some people say, I've never reached, never meet the criteria I finish. Um, and then they now want to promote you up to AP. I think I did eight years between AP and full pastors. Yes, like, I did. Uh, two, two Nigerian president term. Yes. Um, but you're not meant to do that long. That's because me, I was running. Yeah, I was running from from corners to corners, and I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to get ordained, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, just do the work. I think for me, too, it was it's the same feeling for me. Okay. It's not really about the ordination. It's about you um, remaining relevant to what you need to do, what he needs you to do. But of course, I think it's also important because. Um, uh just so i don't know really why for the for the books maybe well the anointing actually then boosts up your ability to do anything uh, that's what i realized because when it's whatever the anointing meets inside of you is going to enhance so as a drummer i can hit the snare at a low pace or or you know the same point but i can enhance the sound by hitting it a little bit harder so the anointing actually lifts up everything that is already deposited inside of you that's what i realized i mean i cried i cried like forever i cried i didn't even care about the camera i mean i didn't care about because it hit me differently um on on all of that i didn't even want to leave the place where they did the anointing because i just mm. wanted to like stay there on the floor but um as we're wrapping this first one up what would you say for everyone that's looking up to you, like Gen Z, Alphabet, uh, hmm. and anyone else coming behind you? We have we have done so many topics already. One, you know yeah. that, right? I know. <laughs> We've gone. But this through. is in reference to being a being a pastor um, coming into ministry. Okay, for no those title. that want to come yeah. into ministry, yeah, or people okay, that are not they're even serving right now, but they're just afraid of the old title so they don't feel entitled 
Okay. I think first of all, um, it's okay to not want to be titled. The fact is the what is important mm-hmm. is that you you are a child of God. Yeah. Is a that you're born one. again. Yes, exactly. Is that you're born again. Is yeah. that you have a relationship exactly. with God. Yes, it's that you can't be born I mean, again and gay at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, but what was I going to say? <laughs> My line of thought has really It's okay. Anyway, it's so what I was going to say is it's it's okay not to want the title. Yeah. But I think that sometimes the title gives you the uh the ability, access to certain exactly, doors. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Access to okay. certain doors okay. and to certain people. Okay. You know, as the case may Even be. everyone honors that hierarchy yes. self. Yeah. Yes. You yes. know, one of the things that uh, the Bible says is that if any of you is sick among you or needs prayers, that you should call on the elders. Mm-hmm. So an elder is by title and by age. Same as the offices of the prophet, yeah. the teacher, the apostle, um, you know, the missionary, the pastor, the shepherd, and all of that stuff. Um, all Everybody has an assignment that is attached to the title. Yes, exactly. um, and then it also then opens different doors, mm. the graces that comes mm. with each of the doors and, and, the, and the position and all of that mm. stuff. Mm. Um, so that even, that's even interesting because if you don't respect the elders, when you are sick, you might just die of your sickness because <laughs> you'll be able to call them to pray for you. But yeah. Yes. So yeah. So my advice is, yes, love God. Yes. Um, yes. Do his will, do his work, okay. but also identify, you know, if you, if you identify I, with what, really identify. Mean. So for instance, now for us, especially with RCCG, there is like an hierarchy, like you mentioned mm-hmm. of, um, of ordination, yeah. you know, so you actually being ordained yeah. is you saying, you know what, I'm giving myself more to the work of God through this mission. Fair enough. You know, so that's how and, I also And, see and even it. through that office that yes, you're being put Yes, through that into. mission, through the office yeah. to be able to get to the end of the earth okay. in this assignment, okay. this and that. But you, I'm not saying that you need the ordination to to do his work, mm-hmm. go ahead, continue in whatever um, place and space that you are. Okay. But it's also very okay to uh, to yield the call of God when he's calling you, Gen Z or not. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we are going to make sure that you come back on the next one because there is more. Peace. Peace.